I was really into music, particularly punk music throughout high school, but also really interested in fashion and style. That all sort of fed into my interest in how you express your tastes through the way you dress. I found a knitwear manufacturer that could create these punk collaborative knitwear designs for me and it's just a really fun way to immerse myself in that artist's world. So Wawa is a clothing label, more specifically a knitwear label, where I collaborate with bands and artists adapting album artwork, gig posters, in more recent years, visual artist work. One of my most popular collaborations has been with the artist Kayleen Whiskey, and that's popped up in so many places. Noel Fielding wore it on Nevermind the Buzzcocks and Tony Armstrong actually wore it on Q&A. As we were watching the episode, people tweet in and there were so many comments about the jumper rather than what the topic was. Sitting there going, oh, here comes the indigenous... It's almost like this little club of people who love knitwear, love art, love bands. And, you know, when you pass someone on the street wearing it, you like, you clock them. Play around with your colours. My latest collaboration is with an artist by the name of Nell. She's a, an incredible, I guess you'd say a multidisciplinary artist. She works in paintings, sculptures. I was instantly drawn to her because she also has such a strong love for rock and roll. And that's like throughout so much of her artwork that comes through. You make Ramesh. Yeah. <laughs> When I first received the invitation to do a jumper with Kayleen, I was so excited. If you look closely, there's little smiley faces. And Then my friend Ramesh did a jumper and I was um, envious in the nicest of ways and I really, really wanted to do one. From the jump, I could just really visually see this hero ghost, this single ghost on the front of the sweater. My first thought was to do a ghost choir and to have ghosts, a hero ghost on the front of the jumper. Do you know why a choir came into your head? I was thinking about the ghost, like the circle on the face is like an ooh. <laughs> yeah, and they're kind of like screaming the pains of the world and then singing the joy. Ghosts have been appearing in my work for a long time now. And when I first started using them, I was thinking about my own ghosts and ghosts and karma and how I could move forward in life once I was more familiar with my ghosts. But certainly they're also a love child of Pac-Man and ancient demons as well. Your artwork has so much text and the text is always like quite edited and mm. really powerful. So I really want to work some text into it somehow. Maybe we could use this one on the back in a very <laughs> muted, muted tone. So on the front, you've got this bright, colourful ghost and on the back, this quite muted. I it's, love the raver face. It's yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's kind of like, it's Hans Holbein's dance to death. <laughs> yeah, on the back, so you can go to go to your disco and know you're going to die. Cool. Once we decided on what we wanted it to look like, I would draw the design pixel by pixel all by myself. But in this one instance, I actually got Nell to sit down at my computer and edit it a little bit so that the ghost faces were true to her aesthetic. That was very fun and she left me alone to do all the, each little pixel. With the sort of knitwear I make, it's predominantly what we call a jacquard knit. So unlike hand knitting where you can drop in as many colours as you want, um, I'm limited to however many spools the machine can handle, which means I can only have five colours per knitted row, six colours in a design panel. So that often means like strategically placing things, dropping colours in and out. Where the blue comes in, that means the orange is dropped out. Orange drops out, blue comes back in. But doing that in a way that it's not obvious and jarring when you look at it. 
Once I have the design and the artwork, the specs, the measurements, I'll send that off in what I call a tech pack in the fashion industry so that my manufacturers can clearly understand what I'm trying to create. And then they pull that information into their knitwear programs to create the first sample. Once the sample is absolutely perfect, we then have to grade it for all the different sizes. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. I finally got the production stock and this will be the first time Nell's tried on the final product. Okay, red first. I love the red, it's very fiery. Psychologic, oh wow. Oh, it looks so good on you now. <laughs> Makes me so happy to see you wearing it. I just wanna look in the mirror. <laughs> Yay, so cool. I love. So I really love that when you wear Wawa, like if you're walking down the street, people will comment, but so often it's someone commenting that also loves that band, that also loves that artist. It's a really nice way to go out in the world and like quite literally wear your influences on your sleeve.